How many directions you going? You know, the Bible says an intelligent person aims at making wise decisions. A fool takes off in many different directions. You know, when we think about moving into a new year, and really this should be about our lives in general, you know, a lot of times we make resolutions or we make all these plans, and all these different things, and it's all, I mean, here and there, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. Well, the whole point of that scripture is aiming at doing something wise, and the key word is aim. It's putting something out there. You know, hunters don't just go out into the woods and just carelessly start shooting, you know, at a deer or whatever they're hunting. It's There's an aim involved. That's something that they want to hit, something that is their target. Well, guys, if we get just completely out of whack with, with the things that are in our life, you know, it just causes it. I mean, we're going to miss the mark. It's going to happen. Now, there's a few things that we can do to, to help in this process, to make sure that we are in line with what God wants us to do and we're achieving those things. I mean, number one, we got to stand up and take responsibility for our own lives. It's just, you know, it's not, everything is not someone else's fault. When we fall short, we fall short. Now, we can't, you know, we don't have any responsibility of, of, of circumstances that occur that we don't have any control of. But those situations and those choices that we make on our own, listen, we have to live with that. Something else we have to do is believe that we can change. We have to stop saying, I can't. We have to believe in the things that God is speaking into our lives, the things that he has set in place for us to accomplish and do it. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ. That key word is can, and we do it through his strength and not our own. Set your priorities right. That's where we get completely out of whack is when things aren't the way they're supposed to be. If God is not number one in your life in every single area, from your marriage, your relationships, your family, your job, your finances, your ministry, then it isn't going to line up. Get that priority straight. And finally, do it. Don't wait. Do it. Don't wait till, so many times we try to wait till things are perfect and circumstances are exactly the way, if it'll happen this way and if this will happen, then I'll do this. Listen, if God has spoke something, if God has placed something in your path and in your life, get it done. Listen, be intelligent. Aim at those things that God has put, put in front of you in your life to accomplish. And then get it done. It's been a CPC Minute.